Nearly five months after she first went missing, some of Brittany Drexel's family from New York find themselves once again in South Carolina, hoping to find her. If I can get her on the media any time, just to keep her name and her face out there, you know, that's what I need to do. You know, I, I'm not the kind of mother that's just going to sit around. Brittany was last seen on April 25th. This is surveillance video of Drexel walking into a hotel in Myrtle Beach. The camera shows she left alone about 15 minutes later. I have hope that she is still out there. But, you know, Brittany hasn't contacted anybody. No friends, no nothing. Saturday, Brittany was the featured missing person at the Q Center for Missing Persons National Road Tour stop in Myrtle Beach. We hold the, the road tour annually, and, um, and we have solved a case each year off of it. And sometime it comes a few months later. Um, sometime it, it may come immediately, actually, while we're on tour. Investigators say they continue to follow leads, and Brittany's mother has not given up on the search to bring her daughter home. We will be um, planning in the fall a uh, large-scale search, and, um, and I don't want to disclose the area, but we will be uh, bringing in multiple teams and, and quite a few hundred people to conduct the search effort. Billboards like this one are now up. There are three in the Myrtle Beach area and one in Georgetown. That's where investigators spent the majority of their first search looking for Drexel. But the one we felt most vital was out towards the search zone because of the fact that her, her cell phone was you know, we do have proof that her cell phone was in that vicinity at one point. But for now, all family members and supporters can do is hold a balloon of hope and a moment of silence. One, two, three. As they search for answers into Brittany's disappearance. In Myrtle Beach, Brianna Wadden, News.